Hey everyone, so this is kind of like a random video. I didn't really plan it out too much because I just wanted to sit down and talk to you about this. So I've been getting like, I get a lot of comments on my videos and on my Instagram pictures and like, um, like tweets at me and stuff like that. Say, and like even on my Ask FM, which um, is just the same as like my Instagram and my thing, except no underscore, it's just Ask FM slash Jaywowski. So, go ask me questions if you want. But I always get told that, like, oh my god, you're so perfect, like, you're flawless, I want to be you, can I be you, um, just stuff like that. And I just wanted to talk to you about this, because I am definitely not perfect, not flawless, you should definitely not want to be me, like, I don't know. I always say that, like, I want to be someone, but then when I really think about it, I am perfectly content being who I am. Like, I'll look at someone that's, like, super duper skinny, like, not, like, super skinny, but, like, super, like, toned and, like, their body looks amazing. Like, I'm jealous of their body. Their hair is nice and long and gorgeous and they have perfect skin. And I get jealous and I kind of think, like, oh, I wish I was her. I bet she has easy. But no one honestly has it easy. And also, it's all about confidence. My camera just moved. I am confident in my own skin most of the time. It all depends on how you present yourself. If you present yourself in a confident way and you walk with your head held high and just happy, or not happy because I'm never happy. <laughs> like I'm like in school now because you're in school. But if you're just, like, you know, confident in yourself and you show people that you're confident, even if you pretend to be confident, eventually you'll stop pretending and you'll be confident. I used to be so self-conscious, like, I was made fun of, bullied, I don't know, in, like, a few years ago. And I'm, and honestly, it made me a stronger person. I'm not saying go get bullied because it'll make you a better person or a stronger person. But honestly, I've learned that you should not care what others think because in the end, it's, you're always going to be there for yourself. So if you don't like yourself, you can't expect others to like yourself. You can't expect others to like you. So basically, what I'm saying is be confident in yourself because you, there's only one you. That's so cliche and stupid, but... Seriously, there's only one of you. No one else is you. Don't try to copy people that you're jealous of. Don't try to, like, be better than other people. Just be you. And if you don't know who you are, kind of just stay away from other people and think about what you really like. And definitely don't try to be, like, go to the wrong crowds, like, Oh, you see, like, the popular group and you want to be part of them. So you go and you try pushing yourself. I have an itch. And you try, like, pushing yourself into their group. Or you want to be, like, with a certain group of people. Don't do that. And if, especially if they push you away. Don't keep trying to force yourself. Obviously, that's not who you're meant to be friends with. Even if you really, really want to. I mean, I guess you can try. But if they keep, like, pushing you away and rejecting you from their group, give up. They're not worth it. They are not going to be your real friends if they do accept you. If, just, I don't know, I'm, not, I'm bad at making friends personally, I'm not really a social person. But join a club, maybe, of something that you like. And then you can make friends with people that like the same things as you. Like personally, I'm waiting until I go to college because I'm going to go to a college for something that I like. So I'm going to make friends there because I'll have a lot in common with them. Honestly, I have nothing in common with anyone at my school because everyone at my school sucks in my opinion. So, you know, I hate them. But, yeah. Just be confident in your own skin. You are 
perfect the way you are and if you don't this is one of my biggest pet peeves if you don't like something about yourself stop complaining about it and do something about it like I hated how I had like I didn't have nice skin like I hated my skin I would break out a lot and all that stuff so guess what I did something about it I purchase $50 pills every month to keep my skin looking nice. I use the Murad Skin Purifying Pills. And I take two in the morning, two at night. And my face is cleared up. Obviously I get the occasional breakout because I'm still like, you know, going through puberty and whenever I get my period I get the occasional breakout. But otherwise, I did something about what I hated about myself. I don't, I didn't like my hair, I'm growing it out, I'm doing something about it, I don't like my, I'm not, con well I mean I'm not saying I don't like my body, but I don't like certain parts of my body, so I am working out to make them as good as they can possibly be, I'm going to join a gym when I get my license in February, so it's just, do something about it, don't just sit on Twitter and tweet, oh my god I'm so fat, oh my god, I'm eating Cheetos, I'm so fat. Do something about it. Instead of eating, like, Cheetos, eat, like, bur I don't even know. I was going to say broccoli, but broccoli is too gross. <laughs> eat, like, some healthy stuff. Fruit is healthy. Don't eat too much fruit because, actually, it has a lot of sugar in it. But it's, like, natural sugar, so it's good for you, but still. Just, like, eat healthier. Eat cleaner. Don't eat, like, Wendy's every day. I used to do that. I don't do that anymore. Mostly because my brother went to college and he doesn't take me anymore. I got it today, though. But yeah, um, if you don't like the way you look, change it up. You know, you do whatever you need to do to be happy about yourself. If you don't like something about yourself, you have the right to change it. Unless your parents don't want you. Then you can just convince them and be like, I'm not happy about myself. I need to change this. Like, if you have, like, super long hair and you want to change it and, like, chop it all off, and your parents are like, oh my god, no, it's so long and pretty. Do it anyway. F what people think, honestly. If you want to, like, completely change, like, your style because you don't like it, do it. Who cares? Don't be, like, too scared to wear something. I wear cat shirts. People give me looks, yeah. Do I care? No, because I love cats and I love my cat shirts. I'm getting cat leggings. I'm going to wear them and I'm going to be very happy wearing them. I have knee-high combat boots. I'm so excited to wear them when it gets hotter. What am I talking about? When it gets colder. Just be confident in your own skin. There is only one you. Don't be another person because there's only one you. Okay? So, yeah, I'm not flawless. I have a lot of flaws. I... I have like a speech impediment and I can't talk sometimes. That's one of my biggest flaws. I can't really talk and I make videos anyway. You know, whatever. I make videos. If you want to make videos and you're scared people are going to find out, don't be scared. Doesn't really matter. I make videos. I'm becoming very successful. I'm successful. See? Can't even say successful. I'm pretty successful as is and I'm very happy and I don't care if people find out anymore I'm very open about it obviously I don't go around being like oh my god I make YouTube videos but I don't if someone like asks me or makes fun of me about it I'm like I don't care first of all I get paid from this this is my job I can't just stop because it's, you know, I get paid for it um I have a lot of people that look up to me I have I'm someone's idol Okay, I'm many people's idols. I'm being told this on Instagram all the time that I'm someone's inspiration, idol, all that stuff. You could be someone's inspiration. That's just the best feeling, especially like on Twitter. A lot of you like message me on Twitter or like not message, like mention me. And then I favorite you and you tweet me saying that I made your day. That is honestly the best feeling that you can make someone's day just by favoriting something because they like watching you. Like, there's going to be way more people that like you than dislike you. And if someone dislikes you for no reason, give them a reason. Because then, I don't know, to me, if someone doesn't like me for no reason, I'll give them a reason to satisfy myself. Because if they don't hate me for a reason, I get really upset. So I give them a reason, and now they have a reason to hate me. So it makes me feel better. So all in all, again, be confident in yourself. I have to go finish my history homework. 
So I love you all. You are all beautiful. Do whatever makes you happy. Stop caring what people think. I know, I know, it's very hard to stop caring about what people think. But trust me, once you stop, it is so much easier to live in this country. So, just try it. Remember to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at jwowski underscore, and you can always message me if you need advice or anything like that. I do have an Ask FM, so I can give you advice on that or just answer your questions. Um, Ask FM, ask.fm slash jwowski, and also check out my online store, barbiesboutique.storeandvay.com. I love you all. Bye.